Ras Gulla is a popular Indian dessert made from chenna, paneer or Indian cottage cheese, that is boiled in a sugar syrup. Here's a basic recipe to make Ras Gulla. Ingredients For chenna balls 1. 1 liter of full fat milk 2. 2 tablespoons lemon juice or white vinegar 3. 3-4 three, cups ice cubes 4. 2 tablespoons all-purpose flour, made up for sugar syrup 1 2 cups sugar 2 4 cups water 3 2 3 green cardamom pods optional 4 a few saffron strands optional instructions prepare chenna paneer 1 in a heavy bottomed pot bring the milk to a boil 1 once it starts boiling add lemon juice or vinegar to curdle the milk 1. Stir gently until the milk solids, chenna, separate from the whey. 2. Turn off the heat and strain the mixture through a muslin cloth or fine strainer to separate the chenna. 2. Rinse it under cold water to remove the lemon, vinegar taste. 3. Gather the cloth with chenna and squeeze out excess water. 3. Hang it for 30 minutes to drain any remaining whey. Knead chenna. 1. Transfer the drained chenna to a clean surface and knead it with your hands until it becomes smooth and has a dough-like consistency. 1. This will take about 5-10 minutes of kneading. Shape into balls. 1. Divide the chenna into small equal-sized portions and roll them into smooth balls without any cracks. 1. Make sure they are not too big, as they will expand when cooked. Prepare sugar syrup. 1. In a wide pot, combine sugar and water. 1. Add cardamom pods and saffron strands for flavor, if using. 1. Bring the mixture to a boil and let it simmer for a few minutes until the sugar completely dissolves. Boil chenna balls. 1. Gently slide the chenna balls into the simmering sugar syrup. 1. Cover the pot with a lid and cook on medium heat for about 15-20 minutes. 1. The rasgullas will expand in size as they cook. Check for doneness. 1. To check if the rasgullas are cooked, drop a rasgulla into a bowl of water. 1. If it sinks to the bottom, it's cooked. 1. If it floats, it needs more cooking time. Cool and serve. 1. Once the rasgullas are cooked, turn off the heat and let them cool down in the syrup. 1. They will further absorb the syrup as they cool. 2. Serve the rasgullas chilled. 2. You can garnish them with chopped nuts like almonds or pistachios if desired. Enjoy your homemade rasgullas. Note, the process of making rasgulla might require a bit of practice, especially getting the chenna texture right and cooking the balls to the perfect consistency. If your first attempt doesn't turn out as expected, don't be discouraged, it's a skill that improves with experience.